welcome back to the garage. Um, as you can see behind me, here she is. Just do a quick recap from last time. So I, at the very end, I didn't film it, but I got the uh, the screen in. It's uh, in with the fillet strip. There's uh, a couple of places up here that will need grinding back, but I'm gonna leave them until I start actually doing body work. It was dark, I couldn't really see what I was doing. I was only working by the light of the garage. So um, yeah, things were a bit limited. Um, but yes, the plan today is to start getting the club and front on so that I can um, start building the inner wings out to meet it. Um, I was going to buy Clubman inner wings to go with my Clubman front, but I'm not going to be using all of a Clubman inner wing panel. And um, I'll be honest, for what they are, they're a bit excessive. They're, I mean, I know Clubman panels are expensive anyway, but nobody makes a pattern part, so you're completely stuck with either get an old one and um, chop it and change it, or um, pay heritage prices. I've decided that I'm just gonna make it in the image of a Clubman panel so that it sort of looks about right. Because, yeah, I, for, for the extra 500 quid I'd have to spend to do the inner wings, to then chop them about to make it a removable front and to stop the splashing from the rain going all over the insides of the engine bay, yeah, it's just, it's not worth the 500 quid, not at the moment anyway. Maybe in the future, but I haven't got the pennies to burn. Um, there's so much more to do on this project. So, um, yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, so the front is on. Um, I am now going to uh, try to make some little triangle plates to go under here. So my plan is to bolt the uh, wings on here and here and two places here and I have a semi-permanent fixing here as well so I can unbolt the subframe when I want it to come off but I don't have to um, do that for general, I can lift the bonnet for general maintenance and most things, but if I'm gonna take the engine out, if I need to, front, whole front can come off and I don't have to worry about trying to do like a hinge mechanism or taking the whole thing on and off every time I wanna get into the engine because that was a real pain in the butt last time. I've uh, marked those ready for a plate and I'll probably just do a single triangle to here. And I've also marked where I'm gonna do spots on the inside. So one up here, five there, and another two there, just to sort of start marking out where I've got punch holes. Done the same on this side. So I'm getting ready to weld this together. So um, I'm gonna probably do some card CAD templates first, and then I'll um, see uh, what it looks like. I might have to change the design, I might have to um, modify things as I go, but you get the gist. Make it up as I go along. Okay, I've been out here <clears throat> trying to make a CAD template for that shape for about an hour. I've stopped the time lapse after two attempts and I've fiddled around, I've tried a few bits and it's, it's a really complex shape and I was, I was really struggling until I realized there is an error, well not an error. I purposely did this and I'd forgotten I'd done it. So um, I'm trying to, to figure out how to get this shape to work and it isn't gonna because this bit of metal is not supposed to be here. My pen mark is all the way back there. I left a bit of meat on the, uh, the bone here. That's in the right place because that's where the bit of tab sits on the, uh, yeah, the strengthening plate at the end of the cross member. Um, but I left a bit here because I didn't know exactly where this was going to end. I drew it in thinking it's about there, but I wasn't 100%. So I've got to take this off and now cut the edges off here and the same on that side so that I'm back where that should be. And then I'm probably going to have to do two pieces. I've tried to the CAD template is, is okay in certain situations. In this, I think I might be better just making a straight plate, bending it to fit, <clears throat> and then doing a corner plate and getting it to fit. I'll get them cut off and then I'll have another look at how things are looking. OK, 
okay. So I've cut them back and now they meet exactly where they should. So there would be a triangular piece here tapering down to about there and then it starts to sort of go straight. Um, well, it goes up at an angle and then just tucks in here and there, there it's spotted along there as far as I remember. Um, I've done the same on the other side. That's looking good. So what I've done, I've taken off the, uh, the front panel and I think I've reached the point where I need to um, attach the front panel to the wings so that I've kind of got a fixed base that I'm working off. Clamping it on, clamping it off is a bit of a, a fiddle every time I have to do it. So if I can assemble my three main pieces, get them where I need them to be, and then jiggle the rest into place, I think that's going to be my best bet. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to chug along with these and see where I get to. I'll let my brain tinker for a little bit and then I'm gonna, just gonna go for it. I've uh, had a couple of people ask, what is it I made the holes in the scuttle panel with? So it's, it's this. Um, it probably has got a better name, but I call it a joggler. I believe that's what it's called. If you search a joggler, that's what you'll come across. Basically, there's a hole punch that end and then you can twist this end around and it does a, uh, a crimped edge for you when you're making panels. Both very handy, but um, yeah, to save drilling out holes, punchy, punchy, punch. So literally, put it on where you want a hole and squeeze. And then when you let go, sometimes it does, sometimes you have to wiggle it. It's as easy as that. Another one this end. Job, job. It gives you a point to attach it. It's um, easiest tool in the world to use is literally if I get that close enough squeeze okay Holes are all cut. We are taking this edge back to bare metal, that edge back to bare metal where the holes are so there's no paint in between the welds. I've done the same top and bottom here. I've done the same over here on that side. So I'm going to attach the wings to the front panel. Wish me luck. this I've done two spots on the top here I've done one at the top one near the bottom just in case this edge needed to be fettled and I've done the same on this side one top one bottom and those two there and actually the, the edges meet up reasonably well um, I was a little concerned because it's not quite right here but that's gonna be hidden by the side indicator bowl so that's not an issue and it's sort of the same on this side, but the general shape of it, it meets where it should. I'm really happy with that. I think the next bit for me is gonna be put this top piece on. I have checked this previously, and what it looks like has happened. This end, you've got a hole. This end, you've got a hole, but a considerably larger amount of material. So I'm gonna have to just, where I've made the mark, I'll have to just cut along here um, so that this lines up otherwise so that will sit in the middle there nicely in about the right place but it just won't quite go under because the, the headlight fixing is under there so um, yeah I'll trim that edge off um, and then mm, probably do the headlight bowls I think This is starting to look very clubmanish. Look at that. So it's not in in. Um, what I've done for the top piece for the moment is just push some self tappers uh, through and I've done the same 
in these back corners just to kind of there just to kind of hold everything where i need it to be i don't want to go and fix this in and find that the wings are too far apart or something like that so i've got to fit the bonnet again i'm just going to try and rest it in place and just have a quick look before i decide whether i need hinges or not So I've kind of got a, a nearly little finger sized gap each side. Um, I don't know that that will close up. I'll see if I can uh, pull it together a little, but I mean, the fit around here, that's pretty good. And I might just be able to get an extra smudge. I might, might get some extra self tappers and sort of screw these, uh, a panel seems together but i mean not really going to get much extra here i mean that's it's a lovely tight gap there um god i love that look how good does that look okay a couple of hours have now elapsed as you can tell it's dark um so yeah bonnet went on i was quite happy opens and closes nicely as i can show you now uh, oh. The good old uh, hinges doing their job quite nicely. And I dug out the grill for good measure. Um, as far as fixings go, I didn't, didn't have any fixings in here at all. So I've had to go and dig them out the doors. So on the doors, where your handles would go here for a late model car or here for an early car or you've got these squares down here for your door pockets in the really late cars um, they are the same as the ones you need to fit the grill so I've pulled them out of that door and um, I just chucked the grill in for uh, for a bit of visual effect because I mean why not it does look exceptionally good, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, it's not really the day I planned. The club in front is part assembled. I drilled and got all the holes ready in here for the headlamp bowls, as you can see. Punched them out on both sides and I've marked where they need to go, but it was at that moment that I realized it's Sunday, time's getting on and um, dinner ain't gonna cook itself. So uh, decided to stop. So um, I've just done a good quality stair this evening. I've fitted the grill and I've been thinking and planning. Okay, the video doesn't end quite there. I kind of had to know how it all looked. Not all, but you know, how the rest of it would look when it's in the bay. So uh, I very quickly lifted the gearbox, then the block, then the head in and chucked the throttle bodies on the front, which now means I can have a little bit of a measure up and see how much space I've got under here for a radiator because obviously I don't want the radiator to sit in front of there that would be silly it also allowed me to check how much clearance I've got under here for my cylinder head because it was an issue with the round nose it's not an issue for every round nose apparently it can be done but oh yeah there's plenty of room up there but those bodies they fire straight at the grill lovely fresh air coming in through there and a nice small mile underneath for the radiator. Oh yeah, really looking forward to this now. I'm probably gonna beaver away this week, whether I'll get to film anything or not, I don't know, but I will keep you updated as I go. Um, yeah, signing off from now. If you've uh, enjoyed this higgledy-piggledy absolute nonsense of um, a video, please, um, like and, uh, and subscribe and um, follow me on uh, Instagram. Um, details will be appearing now.